everybody so I had these paint skins left from this painting I did I think I'm gonna try and put a little picture of it in so and I had this wire that I kind of wrapped and it um, it wouldn't lie flat because I wanted to try and fill it with resin you know how people do and I couldn't get it to lie flat anyway so it was just kicking around and I had this great big blob of beautiful paint skin so I just laid it down in it and waited for the paint skins to dry and then I made this. So I'll show you how I did it. a quick uh, quick video just to show you this kind of cool thing I'm doing I did a painting and I had there's a lot of skins and so I've got just a wire I got you know the the wire that you get the wire wrapping craft wire and I just kind of bent it bent it around in a bit of a design and I was gonna kind of try and fill it with resin but I couldn't get it to lie flat and I thought you know what I'm just gonna plunk it down in the skin and let the skin dry so that's what I did so now I'm just going to put some UV resin in I usually don't use UV resin for anything other than little tiny repair jobs but I thought it might it might work good on this just gonna put UV resin in and see what happens this could be really cool. I mean, it's just another thing you can do with your beautiful skins. I hope this will work. I don't know how much resin to put in there. I'm just going to put a thin coat-ish. I'll put it under my lamp and we'll see what it does. Still not lying 100% flat, but I think it'll be okay. I might have to do a few layers and adjust. But what the heck? Nothing to lose. Okay, let's stick it under my UV lamp. I think I got it covered. Let's see what we get. Woohoohoo! Ah! Okay, so I just stuck it under my UV lamp not lying flat. I'm going to try and hold it down flat a little bit while it sets. Oh, there it goes. It's flat now. Yeah, so we'll come back in, a, I don't know, five minutes or so and I'll take off the excess skin and we'll see what we get. It might be cool. Okay, it's been about five minutes. So I'm going to see I'm take off that extra. Should just peel off theoretically. I'll be careful. Might have to cut it off. Oh no, if I pull it against the the wire, it comes off pretty clean. I don't want to put my fingers on the resin yet because I don't want to leave fingerprints. There's a little sticky wicket there. Come on, let go. Pull it forward so that I won't peel it off. Yeah, that's working. <laughs> cool. I could cut it, I guess, but I think I get a better cleaner line if I peel it up. Get 
off of there. Yeah, I think I'm going to put... Ooh, the back looks neat too. You could wear it either way. Oops, there's the back. Ah. Yeah, I'll put resin on that. <laughs> Cute! Yeah! That worked. So something else to do with all those beautiful skins. I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Put a chain on it. There we go. Beauty! I decided I was just going to paint on the back part just a little tiny silver because the other side you see the the wire but this side you don't see it so I'm just painting with my <laughs> what do you call it it's uh, model airplane paint stuff it's the best thing for doing little you know doing your edges of coasters and that it dries really quick it stays on so yeah so I'm just doing a tiny little thin border around there that's it a little bit more there Yeah, just to just to frame that side up so it looks a little prettier. Woohoo! So cool. There it is. Look at that. How cool is that? And then I'll flip it over. So there's a little silver paint I did around the edge. <laughs> and there it is. Yay! Something to do with our multiple beautiful skins. <laughs>